While Journey to Batu was not the way I'd like to see Star Wars added to Sims 4, given I can't be a Jedi, there are good things about it and little facts that may surprise you. There are also things you can't do or that do not work well at all that we never got around to talking about. So how about a quick list of all the things I can find about this pack? Let's do it. I guess we'll get this first one out of the way. You see it in the intro of the video. Children can play with lightsabers if you're unstable enough to give them such a dangerous thing. <sighs> I'm just kidding. They don't really do anything. That's an idea that Darth Maul might have really liked. But the non-existent risk to life and limb makes that a fun fitness building activity for children. I almost made a guide just about lightsabers, but I think we may have just accidentally covered everything. But I did almost forget, you can only duel with another sim who has a lightsaber in their inventory if they are also in your household. It doesn't work if they aren't. Despite the fact basically no one can spar with you, the option appears in the friendly social menu for every sim anyway. You see that? That's impressive, isn't it? This is what droids do when you take them home. As you can see, they're a portable boombox. Well, it's portable in the same way a boombox is because when you're home, it loses the ability to follow you. Instead, you just roll your little, whatever you named it, QD, Gonad, and other variations of ball jokes. Yeah, you can roll them around with a remote and get fun out of it. It's equally useful to water slides. You can talk to it too, but since it's lost its intelligence on the ride home, I think that's an insane thing to do. I'd talk to a droid, but not a radio controlled car. That'd be weird. You may be surprised to learn that if you build up a relationship with a Star Wars alien, you can bring them home without cheating. But when you get back home, they'll look like a normal sim. I know that's a relief, right? But, but wait, there's more. If you go back to Batu, they'll be an alien again. Isn't that something? It's like a space mermaid with weenie whiskers. I guess maybe we aren't supposed to play with any Star Wars assets that aren't built by the droid and the lightsaber. Next up, you can get a few new aspiration rewards in this new pack. First up is the resistance, which will give you the heroic presence trait. You get double charisma skill gains, and get this, they give another sim a plus one inspired for 60 minutes. It seems they may also make friends a little easier. If that's not a reward for saving the galaxy, I don't know what is. Sims who finish the scoundrel aspiration will get sleight of hand, meaning they'll never be caught cheating at Sabah. They're also able to pickpocket, but for some stupid reason, can only use this once every four hours. Here's the weirdest part about this. Credits are worth more than money. You know, it costs only like 100 credits for a lightsaber hill. When they pickpocket simoleons, they get like a third of what they get in credits. It's weird. I guess Sims use credit cards for all of their purchases. If you finish with the first order, you get supreme authority. Now that sounds powerful. What it does is let you win fights more often. You can also intimidate Sims out of fighting. Fights are a pretty big part of the game, so I can see this being a really desirable trait. Something you may notice is Batu doesn't have toilets. It's all pretend. The fact that this page exists is hilarious. The fact there is a demand to tell Sims players how to use a toilet six years into the game's life. This article recommends the dwelling in Black Spire Outpost, which is a fine solution that meets my expert approval. But you can also pee outside. You can do the duties by clicking your Sims bladder button on the needs menu, where they'll auto solve it by walking to the edge of the map if there are no other options. Like me, you may at some point discover that, despite having flown an X-Wing or TIE Fighter numerous times, you just cannot fly anymore. The interaction isn't there. It just disappears. Well, the problem is hopefully because your droid is broken. See, the game is just trying to keep you invested in Star Wars lore 
so it hides the button to help you develop your critical thinking skills. Personally, I find it funny that once I fixed this, I left on my own in the X-Wing, proving I didn't really need little Gonad in the first place. There's another funny thing about this. You don't actually need a droid to fly an X-Wing in the game. It's perplexing, isn't it? Here's another new thing. When you head out for a vacation on Batu, you may get excited that the game lets you pick your furry friend. They appear right there in the menu, so it seems like you're good to go. Don't bother getting your hopes up, though. It's a trap! That's right, Admiral. It's a trap. When you get to Batu, you get a message that your pet was left at home. So, so many players wanted to build on Batu. And, well, you can't. Or you can. Yeah, you can. But you've got to use the BB die enable free build cheat. So you can't, but you can. Here's the thing. Building is very doable, but actually living there can be difficult depending on what you want to do. If you're a caster, you can make potions, sort of, but you won't be casting spells. Nuh-uh. That, that'd be cool. <laughs> but no. <laughs> you want to use your magic to freeze stormtroopers and finally have a use for that freeze spell. But that would make the game too easy. Instead, you are locked out of using magic so you can get a sense of pride and accomplishment by defeating the good guys, so you can't cast spells. In fact, there are a lot of things you can't do on Batu. Let's say you build with BB.Enable Free Build. Well, if you want to play the missions in Batu, you need to leave all the quest objects alone. You also cannot change the lot type, so no restaurants or retail shops on Batu. If you cheat in some plants, which is the only way to grow plants on Batu that we know of, you will, for instance, need to wait for them to grow because nothing you place that needs to be picked up will be owned by your Sims household. You're building on a public lot. Let's say you want to get around the rules and at least brew potions on Batu. Oh, you can do that, but only those that require only plants. You might find a few things on Plopsy, but you won't be able to get access to all those crafting materials. You'll have to wait until they mature, harvest them, and make all your potions before you travel. Why before you travel? Well, this is because when you do travel, the inventory will be stripped of all non-Batu items and sent back to your stash at home. It's neat that it's storing them for you, isn't it? If you don't drink that potion you made immediately, it will also be stored when you travel. Some people are like, awesome, no bills. They struggle. <laughs> While it's true you won't have to pay bills, you also won't get mail. You can't have a baby on Batu, so don't plan on adding little ones without a trip home. If you do that, you should know that you cannot bring your baby back to Batu. It'll end up raised by some townie and take on their fashion sense. So if you can't cast spells, naturally you can't use vampire powers either. Not even mist and bat forms. Hell, you can't even use supernatural speed. Because it'd make no sense, dark meditation is also disabled. Heck, you can't feed on aliens either. I smelled Disney's fingers all over this one. Also, Sims aliens have powers. Disney's don't. So no alien powers. Well, some of the aliens are Jedi and those are powers, but those aren't in the game. I guess you're getting this theme with powers, huh? Uh, definitely mermaids, too. But it goes further than that. Many abilities are gone as well. Heck, Sims skilled in research and debate can't use their ability to convince others on Batu either. Because you'd definitely tell Ray to go for a jog naked, and that's not a very Disney thing to do. Well, I have news for them. People are already doing not so Disney things with Ray and Kylo Ren and probably had the courtesy to invite Chewbacca. <laughs> oh God. Your sim can learn recipes when they drink on Batu, but they can't make mixology drinks themselves. You know why? Well, I don't either, but my line of thinking leads to Hondo getting hammered or making Ray flirty with a drink. Well, I mean, you can practice making drinks, you just can't make an actual drink. Something you can do is use lot traits. 
I tried to establish the resistance base as a vampire nexus with cat hangout and clothing optional, hoping that Maxis had forgotten about that feature. I was hoping to see some naked aliens. Well, I did get cats. Cats showed up at my lot. I don't know what ones will work, but they did leave your options open for getting skill gain boosts with lot traits. Guess what? No chicken butt. You can't tell a chicken buck joke with a toddler. Nope. That interaction is very specifically locked when I look in the game files. That's interesting, isn't it? When you can't even tell a chicken butt joke, it's clearly thinned out gameplay trying to live on Batu without mods. I don't know why you'd want to anyway given you also can't throw parties or have a wedding, hire services. I mean, you can elope, but I'm guessing after all the many things I've said you can't do, that you understand my thinking where I'm coming from. A game where you live on Batu will be extremely hollow. Being able to live on this planet is not a selling point. It's incredibly broken and they clearly did not try to support this. So yeah, I think you might agree with me. This is the least integrated pack we've ever had. I'm not making further judgment on it as bad in this video. I'm just a bit of a smart ass and there's a lot you can't do. Let me know what you think of this type of play. Also, this is the weirdest pack for The Sims, not just Sims 4. To accommodate Disney, and to keep things playable, a lot of things had to be deliberately disabled when you're playing in this place. It's like a hollowed out version of the game. Going here takes away all your features. On the early access streams, they were using just this one pack with the base game, but when you use all the packs, you see just how hollowed out the game is in this pack. I guess with stuff like casters and vampire powers, it'd be really hard to balance, but the game is so easy, I don't particularly understand the decision. That's all I got for now. Support my channel with a like if you enjoy what I do here.